I mean, that's phenomenal. It's like a symphony, every dish. Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. And then this is the third episode in our Around the World with 80 Bay series. And today, our bay <laughs> is Jan. Hello. One of my best mates in the entire world. Jan, what are we doing today? We're having an Indian. Makes sense. Shock. <laughs> Yes, this is the series where we continue our mission to eat in every single country around the world without leaving our hometown. This 27 degree June day in London town. We're starting off with a proper high-end, fine dining Indian. We're gonna then head off to a more casual, accessible, classic curry house. And along with that, we've got a wild card. First up, Jim Carna. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, hello. This is Jim Carner, our high-end establishment. Now this is this is Jim Carner, Michelin star Indian dining in Mayfair. Jan, why Jim Carner? For my money, it's the best Indian restaurant in London. I brought my mum here, brought my dad here, brought my dates here, brought my mates here. I brought my mum here, brought my dad here, brought my dates here, brought my mates here. Mum here, dad here, dates here, mates here. For my money, it's the best Indian restaurant in London. I brought my mum here, brought my dad here, brought my dates here, brought my mates here. How many dates do you have recently? Private. <laughs> the masala lamb chops, the best I've had anywhere. Let's go. The name Jim Carner. Jim, like gymnasium, Carner, food. You put those together. This whole place is modelled on the old sports clubs back in Delhi. The design of this place, the execution, the attention to detail, the feel, the smell is just phenomenal. Sometimes in restaurants, when you get directed to the downstairs, you're like, oh, really? But in here, I think it's the best beer. What's cheers in Indian? So um, I'll give you a little bit of live commentary. What's happening right now is Jan is currently Googling what Cheers is. Like, we don't do it at home. We just, we, you know, the old men just sort of just go <laughs> and just knock it back. Also, Indian's not a language. Sorry <laughs> to my brothers and sisters out there, my Gujaratis, Hindis, Punjabis, Pakistanis. Indian's not a language. We got the goat pal bhajis with the crispy onions on top. Incredibly rich, buttery, spiced meat, delicious. This is the alu chaat, vegetarian starter. Loads of tamarind sauce, chickpeas, potatoes, yogurt, prawns, prawns and female scallops, aka queenies. Oh my God. Little female scallops, get some of that. After much research, we had decided that in India they just say cheers. So, Cheers. <laughs> okay, so this might be the most exciting meat spread I've ever seen in my life. Meat spread's a nice phrase, isn't it? Yeah, I just, as soon as I said meat spread. Well, we got a quail sheet kebab. I've never had these tiger prawns. Look at the size of them. This is the showstopper, the main event, in my opinion, anyway. You judge any good so you Indian these. on the lamb shops, and these are the best I've had in the city by a country mile. Let's dig in, I reckon. The tenderness of the meat, but the char on the outside. I mean, that's phenomenal. Sumptuous meat, fresh coriander and herbs, and then the spice kick comes and gets you in the end. But that char on the meat, come on now. Lamb shank, Rogan, Josh. That is a biryani. They have a pastry on top, so the steam doesn't have anywhere to go. Look at the steam coming out of that bitch. What's the butter chicken saying? Obviously it's amazing. Everything's so beautifully balanced and seasoned so well that like, if there's a little bit of heat, it's not crazy, it's not too much, and all the flavours still sing. It's like a symphony every day. And so that's your teacher, Mr. Steve Child. That was your he was a maths coach. teacher and a football coach. Right, okay. And Doug was, well, his son was my geography teacher, Mike. Doug and Mike. And Doug gets his glasses from my uncle in Boreham Wood. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, so good. So good, in fact, that we really overstayed the timeline that we were meant to be in there for. And now we completely missed the next place. It's going to take us 40 minutes to get there. So actually, we're now going to have to go there on Monday after Glasgow. However, that does open us up to 
some pints in the sun. Let's go. <laughs> Top jaw specs, limited edition. These are two, two pairs of the limited run that we do have. Extremely high quality, aren't they, Jan? The finest has to take this side of the Thames, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Six mass tape, blue lens on the inside, teal lens on the outside. We've got the grip strips. We've got the top jaw engraved logo. Not too shouty, very subtle, but very, very good. The travel accessory that you absolutely must have. We're going to be wearing these in Glastow 24-7. Popped into a well-known pub just above Carnaby Street in the middle of Soho. They serve many a craft ale, which I'm very into. You know, if you can't see through the beer, then it's not strong enough. My mum's cooking up a Sunday roast dinner. That is the most transformative, nostalgic, overwhelming experience. I've had hundreds of them, maybe thousands of them. They never get old. But they never get old, and it's such like an immersive, Nostalgia family experience. What's the what's what's the equivalent in the, in the Janak household? I'm blessed with a very large family on my dad's side, and uh, close relatives on my mum's side as well. And so, an Indian meal. If I go visit mum and dad during the week, can be quite simple. You know, a few vegetarian curries, uh, some dal, some chapati, some bread, and it's a nice spread and balanced meal. And it's just it's just. Reliable, nourishing, nutritional, reminds me of home. But the the ones, the showstoppers are the yeah, big yeah. events around Diwali, even at Christmas, where there's just a spread of meat, vegetarian. You've got like tandoori lamb, you've got you've got chicken tikka, you've got palm bhaji, which is like a vegetarian like burger that do it yourself kind of thing. And it just it ranges from like amazing finger food. And, and all like rich, hearty banquets where we get the big table out. It's much more than just the flavors and the variety and the spice, but it's about getting the people you love in one room and eating together and laughing and sometimes crying and shouting. You know, <laughs> families aren't perfect, but it's, 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 the food is just some, it's a thing that sort of allows us to all just come back and connect together. So it's like celebratory, man. It's just the all right, mate, I'm pleased to take you to my next favourite. Small plates, big favourites, post-work, before the party or after party. Cricket, started by two friends, Will and Rick. Will, mastermind chef. Rick, front of house, bad man. Two friends went travelling in India, fell in love with Indian food, but wanted to make something in the UK. So they came up with this sort of UK-Indian fusion, hence why it's our wild card. You have Indian inspired contemporary small plates. We actually filmed them in 2016 when they started in Pop Bricks with three dishes. Now they've got three sites, not just three dishes. The Soho, White City, Brixton restaurants. Imagine if an Indian restaurant with the finest dishes you've ever seen ran into a tapas restaurant at high speed. <laughs> this is what you're getting now. open kitchen, sat around the counter, getting those small bites. And they also do cocktails. None that I've ever heard of, all that I'm excited about. Right, I've got a North of the River, spice gin, cardamom gin, and lime. They fuel 747s on this stuff. What have you got, bro? Dark matter, green chili rum, mango, agave, a little bit of passion fruit, and some, uh, what looks like, some chili powder on top, some little added spice. So cheers, man. That is strong, but it is good. So we've got the date and pistachio culture. We've got the berapuri, which is a take on a chart, I think. We've got the samphire pakora, one of their classics. And we've got the Carolyn fried chicken. Oh my God. I'm over the moon, Will. This is the best day ever. I think with these small dishes, you can just like, pack so much flavour in, in a small thing. Okay, so this is the pork neck curry. We have lamb ribs and a wild garlic. 
little puffy naan boy. <laughs> it's a culture. Our culture. It's stupid, isn't it? This right here is the Iriali Tika Trout and Tomato Chutney. Bosh. I'm in like a flavour coma right now. Sapphire Pecora. What to write home about? Oh, it's on the trousers. I absolutely love that place. I mean, it's contemporary Indian. Even the soap in the bathroom is cardamom flavour. Flavour, <laughs> not that it? I put it in my mouth. <laughs> or maybe I did. Before we continue to the next place, please may I ask you, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe. If you have already done it, thank you so much. What up? And if you haven't, welcome to the Top Jaw Heads. We are in the beating heart of North London. This is Highbury Islington. We're not here for some food this time. We're here because my girlfriend, Tora Lam, is playing a gig at this here establishment, The Grace. Okay, so when we said that we were going to resume filming the Monday after Glastow, well, when that day came around, we realised how crazy an idea that is. It was my sixth time at Glastow, so you would think I'd know how that Monday goes. And so now, Jan, we are finally on Brick Lane. World-renowned, city-renowned, as home to some of the best curry houses in London. They're affordable, they're fun. Bring your mates, bring your mum, bring your dad, bring your pals. Amazing curry, amazing flavours. Got another wrap there, I think. <laughs> Let's go! They're affordable, they're fun. Bring your mates, bring your mum, <laughs> bring your dad, bring your pals. As home to some of the best curry houses in London. Affordable, fun, mates, mum. Amazing curry, amazing flavours. <laughs> uh, we might look a bit different because it has been, time has moved on a little bit. I don't know what our hair was looking like previously. Oh. Well, I think I've oh, got you didn't a bit, have a, you didn't have facial hair. Me, but that could have come in in a how, day. How are the girls? The girls are a bit untamed, I think. Oh, <laughs> a bit sloppy. <laughs> there are this many curry houses on Brick Lane. And I'm doing this because I don't know how many there are, but we'll find that out and put it right here. Now, there's a massive debate. People have a favourite, but our favourite is Sheba. Sheba. Have you been to Sheba before? Shut up. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Another favourite of mine, one we're not featuring today, Aladdin. BYOB type thing, but I do love their curry. Very good for big groups. I like it so much, we're going to add it to our top jaw curated extended map on Step Your World. Nice. And how do you download it, bro? Via our Patreon. Come on, be a patron, you know you wanna. Sheba multi award-winning curry house on Brooklyn. And what I'm realizing about Indian food, right? It's kind of like a deck of cards. When you drop a deck of cards or you reshuffle a deck of cards, that deck of cards, that combination will never have been made ever before in the world, never be made again, right? I like it. You look confused, mate. Yeah, he looks very confused. Jan's really wondering where I'm going with this. But with Indian recipes, everybody's got their own recipe, Spot right? Spot so the same thing, you can eat it in different curry houses, different places in the world, and it'll be very, very different to one another. My grandma would have a specific own secret blend of garam masala spices that would be different in every other family that, you know, across London, and that's the same for across India in different regions. The spices, the blends, the flavours, the thickness of the curries, the ingredients, just really ranges. I think Sheba covers a lot of that variety and a lot of those unique delicacies in a real range. I think the best thing to do is to make it a tari. So a bit, a little bit of everything. Atari. Atari, yeah, Atari. So uh, which just means play. We got the Bengal lang shank here. The meat looks tender, juicy, and we got some chana dal, which is dal made out of chickpeas. This is the lamb curry. Oh man, it's like fresh and vibrant to start. Then it's unctuous and rich and creamy and deeper as you, as you eat more. Oh, was amazing. Yeah, well, I'm going in now. This came out with all sorts of theatre, sizzling like Kylie Minogue in the 80s, right? So good. Being on Brick Lane, all these places are very accessible. They are very affordable. The prices for this portion that you get and the quality of food you get is very good value for money. There's so many decent curry houses in London. Difficult to really put your 
sort of head and shoulders above others, but I think Shiba, you're right there. I think this has been a wonderful film. Incredible. We've featured a real spectrum. Just in three restaurants, we've really sort of given a good overview of London Indian food scene, I think. But each one, three places, full of flavour. So long ago. Yeah. So long ago. I mean, which cuisine should we try next, though? Which cuisine in London would you like us to profile next? We're all ears. We literally want to know. I'll go Turkish. Just me. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, press that subscribe button. It's there. It's there. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do anything for a subscribe. <laughs>